Hi everyone, welcome back with another video and this time with a recipe video. Christmas is around the corner and your house would have that lovely cake baking smell. I know cakes can be had at any time of the year but it's very special during Christmas. Now today's cakes are made without a beater and without an oven so it's easy for anyone to try out. Now if you want to make it in an oven, any cake baking settings are 180 degrees celsius for 20 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. In this video there are two eggless cakes as well. So let's begin with the recipes. Firstly the most favorite plum cake. Usually the traditional recipe is with alcohol. This is alcohol free and this is a bit on the chewy side which is what I love. Firstly, you need to make a sugar syrup, a dark syrup which gives the color for this. If at all you don't want to use sugar, you may use jaggery. Add half cup granulated sugar in a vessel. Here I have used my iron vessel. If not, use a heavy bottom deep vessel. Now keep on low flame and let it melt by itself without mixing. Make sure it doesn't burn and you keep the flame low. Meanwhile, taking quarter cup walnuts, quarter cup almonds, quarter cup cashews then in a bowl add quarter cup golden raisins if you have black raisins use that as well since i didn't have i used quarter cup more of golden raisins then half cup of mixed fruits that's tutti frutti chop all the nuts The quantity depends on your preference. You may use more or less, it's up to you. While the sugar is melting, heat half cup of water. The sugar has melted very well now and it's more watery. Off the flame, and it's time to add the hot water. Just keep a distance away from it. Now turn on the flame and let it boil on medium flame for 10 minutes. Now if you want the cake to be more soft and less chewy, make sure the syrup reduced to just one cup. Or if you want chewy cake, make the syrup to half cup. Now in a mixing bowl, Sift 1 cup all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon baking powder, forgot to capture add half teaspoon baking soda as well. Sift it. Now from this cake flour, add a tablespoon to the fruit and nut mixture. Then add half to 1 teaspoon cinnamon powder, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, half to 3 4 teaspoon salt and then mix. Keep that aside. Now time to preheat the pan. Here I am using a large aluminium vessel. You may even use a large cooker if you have. Here I am using salt. This can be reused again and again. You may use sand instead. Keep it covered and keep on medium high flame. Meanwhile in a blender add 2 eggs. Then 1 cup sugar, half cup oil. 1 teaspoon vanilla essence and then blend. Then add to the dry ingredients little at a time. I added in 3 batches. Now this is the sugar syrup when completely cooled down. This is almost half cup. As I said earlier, you can make it a bit loose, almost one cup if you need a soft cake. Do not add hot syrup, make sure it's completely cooled down. Fold the batter. Then add the nut mixture and combine together. You may use a square or round tin and line it with baking sheet. 
Since I have used a decorative tin, I spread some oil and dust it with cocoa powder so that after the cake is baked, there won't be that white powder on top when inverted if flour is used. Add the batter in the tin and tap a few times. Place a stand or an inverted bowl in the center and place the cake tin on it. I just sprinkled a few more of the fruits on top. Cover and you may lock the air by covering it with aluminum foil. Keep the flame on very low. Mine took almost 45 to 50 minutes to bake. So after 30 minutes just insert a skewer and if it comes out clean it's ready to take out. Let it cool down completely before taking out the cake from the tin. Go through the sides and the cake is ready to take out. The plum cake is ready to dig in. Next, let's make an eggless coffee cake which I had shown a glimpse in my previous vlog. Very simple. All you need is to sift in 1 cup all-purpose flour and 1 teaspoon baking powder. You may sift 2 or 3 times to add more air in it. Then into a blender, add 2 or 3 tablespoons of instant coffee powder. The flavor depends on you, you may add more or less. Then add half cup granulated sugar. Just a few pulses to powder it. Add quarter cup oil or melted butter. Then quarter cup milk and one teaspoon vanilla essence. Blend for a minute and then add quarter cup more of milk. Now since it was still thick, I added quarter cup of milk again. Then add it to a mixing bowl. This is how you need the consistency. Then you need to add the flour mix little at a time and then fold. You may sift it again while adding so that the batter is easily blended while folding. Line a baking tray and add the batter. You should have preheated your vessel by now like the previous way how I showed. Place the baking tray into the hot vessel. Cover the same way. Cook on low heat for 20 to 25 minutes. If the skewer comes out clean, the cake is ready to take out. Let it cool down a bit. Meanwhile, let's make a glaze, adding quarter cup of soft butter into a heat proof bowl along with 2 tablespoons of dark cocoa powder and 2 teaspoons of sugar if you are using cocoa powder which is unsweetened. Double boil and make a glaze. When the cake is still warm, poke holes and add some milk on it. You can skip this step, but the milk will add a bit of moisture in it. After 15 to 20 minutes, pour the chocolate glaze on top and spread evenly. Then refrigerate for around 10 to 15 minutes and the cake is ready to slice in pieces. And that's the coffee cake. Next is ginger cake, I guess commonly known as ginger bread. This is my favorite among all as I could relax having a piece of warm ginger cake and a cup of coffee in this chilled weather. For this again you need to make the sugar syrup, the same way how I showed for plum cake. But here I have made it a bit less thick, so it's one cup of this dark sugar syrup. 
then into another mixing bowl add half cup sugar again along with half cup soft butter whisk well till it becomes pale color if you're using a beater it'll be easy but whisking manually is not that hard it'll take some time that's all then add an egg and whisk again now this is the sugar syrup not as thick as the previous one so in goes 1 cup of the sugar syrup whisk all together now to the same bowl sift 2 and 1/2 cups of all purpose flour then 1 and 1/2 teaspoon baking soda then add 1/2 teaspoon ground cloves 1/2 to 3/4 teaspoon cinnamon powder 1 tablespoon ground ginger mix well now these spices can be adjusted according to your taste so you may add less or more it's up to you then goes 1 cup hot water and mix you may use spatula or even mix with your hand which adds more air into the batter add into a lined baking tin spread evenly and tap a few times bake it the same way on low flame mine took around 30 minutes so do check by inserting a skewer or a toothpick after 20 minutes it may take up to 45 minutes if you are using a beater and oven and it depends on your oven settings too once cool down slice the cake I place it in a steamer, make it a bit warm and have it with a cup of coffee. Now chocolate cake is everyone's all-time favorite and this is the most easiest chocolate cake I make and it tastes equally delicious. It's all the way from my mother and it's my favorite childhood cake. You need a bowl to mix in everything. Sift in one and a half cup of all-purpose flour. Then goes three tablespoons of cocoa powder, preferably a darker shade, and baking soda, one teaspoon. Then add one cup sugar, half teaspoon salt, and mix well. Once well mixed, make a well in the center. Add one tablespoon vinegar, five tablespoons of oil, any vegetable oil, one teaspoon vanilla essence, and then goes one cup cold milk. If you don't want to add milk, you may even add one cup cold water. Now mix everything. Fold well until well blended together. Line a baking tray. tap a few times cover and bake for 25 minutes in low flame let that cool down Just a caramel sauce to add on top. Add a cup of sugar and 30 ml of water to a heavy bottom deep vessel. Keep on low flame. And on the other side, just heat a cup of milk. Now when the sugar becomes a caramely color, add quarter cup of butter and whisk well. Now off the flame and add the hot milk and mix continuously so that the milk doesn't curdle. You can again switch on the flame. Usually heavy cream is used since I didn't have it I used milk and it's equally tasty. If your butter is unsalted add 1/2 teaspoon salt to make it salted caramel sauce. 
You may skip if you don't want the salt taste. Add 1 teaspoon vanilla essence. Mix well on medium flame for 4 to 5 minutes. Don't make it more thick as this sauce once cooled down it will be more thick. The cake is ready to take out. Pour the sauce on it and let it drip from the sides. You may keep in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes to get it well set. Slice the cake and it's delicious. And that's for today's recipe video. Do try out these yummy cakes and I would love to hear your feedback. Merry Christmas in advance to whoever celebrating Christmas. See you with another video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.